How's it going everyone? Jake XVX here, back on Foot 2004 once again. It is time for another Torben Tuesday, one of my favourite type of videos to make. Torben Tuesday is where we get given clues from Forza themselves, Playground Games, about what's going to be in the next update. So very soon we are going to get update 35 for Forza Horizon 4, new cars and whatever. However, we don't know what's going to be in the update, however, we have been given clues today to figure out what's going to be in the update. As always guys, if this video does help you out, please do consider subscribing to the channel. We cover these every single month. Let's get on with it. Now usually Torben Tuesday used to be images like this, full of clues about what's going to be in the update. However, because of COVID, Playground Games couldn't do that and they had to give us clues in text because they were working from home. However, finally, we have an image again. We are back to the whiteboards, as you can see on screen. So, it seems like we're just going to have the whiteboard full of clues today. Now, off the bat, I am going to say all of these clues and guesses I'm making are just guesses. None of this is confirmed until we get the official live stream and a massive props to everyone um, that's worked this out themselves on the forums, on Twitter and everything like that that have given their opinions on this. I'm just piling everything together in one video for you guys to make your decision about what you think is going to be in the update. So there's about four or five different objects on this screen to look at. The first one I want to look at is the bottom left hand corner which appears to be a diagram of two cars. One of them is rear engined and rear wheel drive, that's the diagram it seems to be giving us. And the one below that is rear wheel drive but front engine. You can tell that they've sort of drawn this diagram to tell us that this car's rear wheel drive and got a front mounted engine. Now rear wheel drive front mounted engine car it could be a few things. Now we do fortunately have the leaked car list to help us out. The very reliable leaked car list which has turned out to be very accurate so far. Now there are actually a few cars on that list which could um, be that car. The 1993 Porsche 928 GTS is one car in the question. That car is on the leaked car list. It is rear wheel drive and front engined. And believe it or not, this car has actually been seen in the game before accidentally. That it's been leaked, it's been glitched into the game, but it's not officially in the game yet. It's on the leaked car list. This diagram is pointing towards a car exactly like the Porsche 928. So I would say the Porsche 928 GTS is one very reliable contender for update 35. That's that clue out of the way. Let's see what else is on the board. Now the thing above that is quite difficult if I'm honest. What it seems to be just a ton of lines all over the place, but with then two sort of 99 shape things. Now the little drawings that look like two reverse 99s, lots of people actually think that it's a, a reference to Back to the Future. There was a scene in, I believe, Back to the Future 2 and a bit of 3 where there was a scene, I've not watched Back to the Future, I can't say for sure, there was a scene where the DeLorean um, f like flew off or something and it left a trail in the air exactly the same shape as that. I'll leave an image on screen and this clip from the movie looks very very similar to what was drawn on the board. There's quite a few pictures of it. Now if this is hinting towards Back to the Future, it can only be hinting towards one car the DeLorean DMC-12. It's a bit of a stretch this one, but you know, it, it looks exactly like the movie reference. DeLorean at DMC-12, pretty cool car, it'd be cool to have in the game. What do you think it could be? Now the black squiggly lines on the screen. When I saw this, I actually instantly thought of this and thought, hmm, I actually think I know what that could be. Well, if you look at that, I think the thing all the way on the bottom left is an S, and I think that that S indicates the start and I think the line which goes up and down the sort of ramp looking thing I think that's a route and I think this is a very very rough diagram of a Super 7 course you've got what looks to be some kind of jump down at the bottom and then you've got to be look what looks to be some kind of hoops down the ramp I just think this is a hint towards Super 7 now what could we possibly be getting that's Super 7 related? Well, we all know about the Super 7 high stakes feature which was promised very soon. They did say that it might actually be in this update, this one or the next one. 
could this black, the black drawing that we're talking about now, be a very rough diagram of a Super 7 course hinting towards high stakes Super 7 courses finally being added? So that's my personal opinion. I think that is a rough Super 7 course. And I think this update may be the time where we get the high stakes update, not next one. Now the next thing on the board seems to be some kind of diagram. Now I actually recognised this straight away but I couldn't put my finger on what it was but thankfully the reply section reminded me. I believe it's a diagram of a hydro pneumatic suspension. This is just a different type of developed suspension which was used popularly by Citroen. More specifically, the Citroen DS23 from 1975. This was a Citroen that used a suspension which is exactly the same one that this special diagram is accurately representing. Representating? Represent. Whatever. And the really good thing about this is the Citroen DS23 from 1975 is on the leaked car list, which is proven to be very accurate. So could that be about the Citroen? We'll find out. Now onto the next thing, which is this here. Now this, what seems to be some kind of G, and this G is actually extremely accurate to a few things. Number one, it's very accurate to the car manufacturer, Ginetta. So, that, I mean, that's all we've got really. Is that hinting towards we're getting a Ginetta of some sort? However, it's also very similar to the Gladiators logo, as you see on screen. Some of you might recognize this. Now, what could Gladiators be hinting towards? Well, the Jeep Gladiator. Jeep Gladiator is a very cool car, and the really cool thing is on the Twitter page for Forza Horizon, they did a post um, sort of promoting the next live stream. And what was in that tweet? A picture of a dashboard. What car does that dashboard come out of? the Jeep Gladiator. So it's looking very likely that that G is the Gladiator's logo, talking about the Jeep Gladiator, which was in their tweet. Unfortunately, this means that this logo is probably not hinting towards a Ginetta. It could be both. I don't, we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, Jeep Gladiator is another very credible contender. Now on to the last clue, which is definitely the hardest one. It's everything else that's left on the board, which seems to be the Earth with a sun and a car. We think that because it's quite obviously a sun at the top, you know, it's massive, it's got the sort of the sun rays coming off of it, and it's attached to the earth, which is attached to the car. It looks like it's some kind of space diagram. Now, what could this mean car related? I don't really know. One thing it could be is we all know who Elon Musk is. He sent a Tesla Roadster to space, basically. He literally attached a car to a rocket and sent it to space. Everyone knows that. Could this just be hinting towards Tesla returning, potentially? Or the Tesla Roadster, which is exactly what Elon sent to space. I don't think we'd get the new Tesla Roadster, but we very could well get the Tesla Roadster that was previously in Forza games, the old Tesla Roadster. But regardless, this would potentially mean Tesla returning to the game, if that's what it's hinting towards. I saw another good theory, which is worth mentioning. There is something called a parsec, and a parsec is 206,000 astronomical units. One astronomical unit is the distance between the sun and the earth, give or take. Now, if this is trying to tell us the distance between the sun and the earth, and then something else, it could be trying to tell us about a parsec, which is a distance in space. Now, what would a car have to do with a parsec? Well, as I said, a parsec is 206,000 astronomical units. 206,000. 206. Now, what's car related that's 206? The Peugeot 206. The Peugeot 206 is on the leaked car list. It's a bit of a stretch. It all depends on what this space diagram is trying to tell us. Now, other than the whiteboard, there doesn't seem to be anything else in the image which is hinting towards anything else. I mean, we've got Torben sat there with a mask on. Couldn't really be any other clues to do with that. So yeah, the bottom left-hand corner where it's a rear-wheel drive front-engine car, quite possibly the Porsche 928 GTS, which is on the leaked car list. And above that, the diagram of what seems to be some kind of course. I think that's hinting towards Super 7. The two sort of reverse 99 shapes on there could very well be the DeLorean from Back to the Future 2. Um, or Back to the Future. 
I think this one's quite weak, so I wouldn't be too excited about that one. The Hydro Pneumatic Suspension, which the Citroen DS23 1975 used, which is on the leaked car list, that's seeming very, very probable. The G logo, which is the Gladiators logo, which is the Jeep Gladiator, which was in Playground Games tweet. Jeep Gladiator is a big contender. And then we've got the space diagram, which has got some kind of car away from Earth. Is Tesla coming back? Is it the Peugeot 206? Pfft. We'll have to wait and see. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think. If you think I'm wrong, if you think I'm right. Again, it's just guesses. We're not going to know until we see the live stream. But yeah, we could be looking at a new Porsche, a new Citroen, um, a few other new cars, the new Jeep, for sure. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, everyone. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all later.